another one of the key requirements that's been requested within Pay.net, the browser-based payment application provided by Pay360, was batch processing. So when I say batch, not a batch of files coming in from a bank, um, it's more remittance or back office processing. So um, in essence, you have received either a, a file of payments um, that isn't provided electronically, so you have a line by line requirement to input this with a control total. So that may be a bailiff's file that hasn't been imported electronically, so you're still manually having to process that. Or another good example is a big pile of checks that have been posted in, um, which we've seen a slight increase again of during um, during lockdown. So um, although the constant trend on checks is going down, uh, but we'll have a look at the application and the change in the way um, Pay.net now deals with batch, including allowing you to save templates um, and create controls in such a way that it allows you to save a batch halfway through and then come back to that again later, say after dinner or the day after that type of thing. But um, we'll have a quick look at the user interface and the way the application works. So it's accessed through the user menu um, uh, within payments. There is now an option uh, called remittance processing. Those of you that have used some of the traditional Pay360 payment applications such as ACR will be very familiar with this. So the batch ID may be um, something like post checks. Um, total amount, uh, once you've gone through your checks, um, will be obviously the total amount uh, that's about to be input within this batch. So let's say uh, 300 pounds. Total count is the number of individual items that are gonna be allocated against this batch. So if we put in um, four, so we're, we, we want to split four checks over the 300 pounds. Um, we have some default count values. Now these speed up processing overall um, and allow you to um, either pre or post date the batch, depending on how you want to process the income. So I know all of these checks are for council tax, for example. So I'm gonna select that and then skip. So I don't have to input that. Reference number, they will vary. So I'm not gonna input a default reference number because they will be different all the way through. All of the checks are not for the same amount. So I, I won't put a default in there and or skip. Within the narrative, I'll put uh, today's date. So the 25th of the 11th, 2020. And if you're seeing this in 2021 and we're all out again in summer, I am really pleased. So payment values, pay code, um, checks, postal will pick for this particular one and skip. So we don't have to select that one again. Payment reference is uh, post checks once again and skip. So once again, speeding up the process. Um, I'll select show balance. So that allows me to look at, a, at an account level what the status though of those individual transactions are. So once I'm happy with that, I then press the data entry screen, which takes me through to the payment screen, very familiar and very similar to the individual transaction payment screen within pay.net. So the account references, I could either start typing them in because people have typed them in on the back of a check and or we know what, unfortunately what customers are like they may have just put Mr. Smith, which is never too good. So once you've located the account that this check has to go to, you can use balance search. So we'll select the account and add that. Uh, type in the amount of check number one, say 75 pounds. The narrative's already completed as per the batch controls. And because I ticked balance lookup, that's populated all of the balance information against that particular account. Pay code has already been defaulted as has the payment reference. Add there and start building the batch. At any point I could press save, come out, go back into normal counter mode and process a payment that's mediated or over the phone and then go back to my batch. Throughout the batch, I have a summary at the top of the screen with the batch amount, the batch control count, the total amount, total transactions and where we're up to. So let's locate transaction and or check number two so find a second account, this is Austin, press add, 
type in the amount that we want to pay again, say £75, and oops, again, add. Ah, no balance on that particular reference. So obviously this fund is set to check against fund 01. I selected an incorrect one. I do apologize. Uh, £75 and add. And we'll do the same again for check number three. 75 and add. Which, ah, another one with no balance. Let's try another account reference. Fingers crossed this one works. And add. Yep, there we go. And once again, council tax account reference, look up, and this is the final account that we need to add to the outstanding balance. We'll need a payment, as we can see the difference at the top, 300 and 225 is 75 pounds for check number four. Narrative once again, all completed, balance details, all completed on screen. Now I could go back and record this again, but what I like to show is a real life scenario. So this is doing live balance checks against live, you know, validated data. So what it's doing is making sure that the reference numbers are correct, that the balance files exist, so on and so forth. So you're not allocating income to the incorrect accounts, which is what we want, which is really what we want. So there are the four items against the batch, um, all completed. The control total at the top, batch amount 300 and batch count match um, in both the batch total and the total amount taken within the scenario. I'm going to then submit that, complete the batch. The batch is submitted successfully. I've got a summary there on screen, so I can print that off on my printer uh, and complete the transaction. All in all, that is a quick, simple, easy way to post remittance, um, as far as post is concerned, um, in a back office environment using pay.net, uh, a very, very simple and easy way to complete that transaction. So I will see you again next time um, with more and more information on Pay360. And there is my batch summary and total. Bye-bye now, see you soon.